everybody. I'm checking in on my Pound of Cure experience. Today was a really wearing, exhausting day for me. I am, um, well, first let me update you, although it's just been a couple of days. Not getting on the scale. Put my jeans on again this morning, and I can definitely tell some pairs fit differently. Now I'm starting to be able to tell the difference between this cut fits tight on my hip bones, the other ones fit great there, but then are, you know, are loose in the, are tighter in the leg, and the other ones are looser in the leg. So it's just very interesting. So like I said, get yourself some jeans and try on different styles. So I had to go off and decorate today for a big party that's happening across the road. It's part of our thing that we do once a year here. We have, we I help on the committee. And I've got a lot of decorating flower arrangements to make. I did this last year. But today was all about decorating the conservatory of the space that we're using. And I was just drained. I came crawling home going, I need a huge cup of coffee and I need something to eat. I I mean, I was, you know, I'm eating the vegetables. Uh, I can't say the last couple of days I've gotten the pound in, but I haven't eaten other things in turn. I've actually kind of fasted yesterday. I just wasn't hungry. So that may be why I'm so tired today. Um... But I came home and I'd eaten some veg, some green raw veg, and I just hadn't had time for breakfast. We had to be there at 9.30 and I just wasn't hungry. I don't have any lentils. I've eaten them all. i got to make more lentils. i got to make some more chickpeas. I did try some nuts this morning. So anyway, I go over there. I come home. I'm spent. I'm on Facebook drinking my coffee. Drinking my coffee. And I go to Dr. Garth's page. He popped up on something he posted. and I was reading his page and he was like, Oh, and I just had uh, an Ezekiel bread with, you know, organic peanut butter sandwich. And it's like, that sounds so good. Bread, peanut butter bread. So uh, I said, you know what? It's okay for you to have a slice of Ezekiel bread and some peanut butter. Granted, it's not organic and it's not homemade and it's not whatever, but it will be. I've just ordered the special jar that makes nut butters for my blender. And um, it's supposed to make it in like 30 seconds, and that's going to be wonderful. So um, anyway, so I thought, well, let me get out the Pound of Cure. Because uh, that's Station 7 that they talk about grains and things. And the other stations, honestly, I know I'm not still supposed to be doing Detox Week. But really, that's the bulk of the way you eat the whole time. Anything else you do in a station is such a little bit of something. Like, what is it for dairy? It's like, really, very few servings a week of dairy um, and, and stuff like that. So, uh, I'm pretty sure i got to double check on that. Pretty sure there, anything you've added back in is in very limited quantity unless it is fruit and vegetables, which is fine. It'll, hey, it'll keep you skinny or thin or smaller or whatever it is you desire to be, I believe. Um, I mean, I have not lost a boatload of weight, but my jeans are still fitting every day. I feel them a little differently, a little differently today. It's the first time I noticed the difference in the way that three different pairs, three different cuts felt on my body. Thin, some of them are so lo much looser in the thighs than they were. Um, I can tell which ones fit across my hip bones differently than whatever, whatever. So that's still good. I ain't getting near that scale. So this is what he says about, let me read you what he says about bread. That's station seven. Well, actually, it's grains and stuff, station seven. Starchy grains, starchy vegetables and grains. And of course, Dr. Garth said something about, the thing he posted today was funny because it was about white bread being the most evil thing you can eat according to dietitians, and that's next to, like, taught poisonous mushrooms and stuff like that. So, anyway, I went, and then he said, and I just had a DeSico bread peanut butter sandwich. And I'm like, I'm having some. So, this is what Dr. Weiner says. And you know, I love, I love Dr. Weiner. He's wonderful. And in the great scheme of life, yes, we'd all be better if wheat was not our best friend, if, if, if bread was not our best friend. I mean, if we ate a life with nothing but wheat and bread, we'd be in big trouble um, for various reasons. But this says, although sprouted wheat bread, a.k.a. Ezekiel bread, is a better alternative to whole wheat, it still contains loads of gluten and has the same addictive and appetite stimulant effects. So I'm aware of that. 
I have a, had a peace. I do not think it's going to take me to the dark side of the planet, never to return. So, I mean, everything in some kind of sensible, quantifiable choice, you, you know, you make choices. And I made a choice to have a piece of Ezekiel bread with some peanut butter and a mashed banana on top. And it was nummy. And I felt my energy level go, whoop. So, see, sometimes you have to listen to your body because we're all very different. And I have issues with hypoglycemia. I had a lot of late stage dumping issues um, after my RNY and still to this day on occasion if I mess up and it'll go for like several days in a row. If I mess up once and set my body off, the littlest thing the next day will happen again. Like where you get the sweats and the weakness and you got to sit down and sometimes your mouth can get tingly and numb and your tongue can get tingly. And it's kind of scary, guys. No kidding. And then I have to have a sugar pill, a glucose pill or something. So it's not a big deal. It's just you take a glucose sugar tablet and you're fine. Um, or, or in my case, I also I take those on my rambles. I take those in my purse wherever I am in case something I do stupid sets me off. Um, like eating a high-fat sugary thing. I don't do well with things that are high-fat and sweet at the same time. And if you drink to wash them down faster, it gets even worse. So don't do that. I don't go have high tea in England. I don't have tea with uh, scones for that very reason. Um, so yeah, I had some bread. It isn't the end of the world. I just wanted to let you know that. Um, the other thing you might want to um, think about is I, I sent Dr. Weiner a note on his Facebook page about the fact that I had issues with my 9 to 12 mile hikes. I called them a hike. I didn't explain what a ramble was. And did he have a suggestion on how I should, you know, I did take a banana and, you know, that helped. That was the only thing that helped. I mean, eating another piece of celery certainly didn't help my energy level when I was out in the middle of a hot field trying to do the last five miles. It was the banana. But I think about athlete athletes and how they eat carbs, proper carbs from time to time to exercise, to run or to extend themselves really a lot. And, um... And I was thinking he'd say, well, that's a day, that's the only day, and the only way you should have a piece of bread with something, something, something. But he didn't. He just said, have eggs. have that." And I understand. And I said, but what about my blood sugar? I said, my concern is not that I was not nutritionally okay. It's the blood sugar. See, so maybe I'm missing something with the whole energy level and the blood sugar and... Um, but anyway, the next time I go on a nine-mile ramble, I'm going to tell you what. Well, I take nuts, and I take... He said take nuts. And I, I did take nuts. I took bananas. I'll probably take two bananas. I'll probably take an apple. Anything that's got sugar that's going to give me a quick boost to get through. But other than that, I think I will probably treat myself on the occasions when I know I'm going to do that to a slice of Ezekiel bread and some peanut butter or some almond butter or some nut butter of some kind because I think my body needs that to get through 9 to 12 miles out in the full sun, a non-stop four-hour walk, um, sometimes five-hour walk. So I don't do that often, but when I do it, like once a week, it's a lot. It takes a lot out of my body. That's why people look at me and go, why are you dieting? This is a very extreme diet you're on. I bet I heard that from my ramblers this week three times. And what is that you're doing? Because I couldn't go to one of the things because I was so worn out from the day before walking the nine to ten miles. I couldn't go to the four-mile walk and meet them all for lunch. So anyway, I'm still a big fan, still working through it. Just wanted to check in. Doing fine and um, feeling much better now that I've had a little bread, a sprouted bread, and some peanut butter. I'll see you guys later. Let me know how you're doing. Somebody make a video. Tell me how it's going for you. What's your struggle? What are you having trouble with? Or did you have trouble weighing out your vegetables and eating all your vegetables? I'll talk to you later. Bye.